Tell me about the culture of the Swiss banking. Well, the background of Swiss bank secrecy is quite uh, long. It started back in the 1930s, and it's a very interesting uh, system of privacy in the Swiss culture. In Geneva, as an example, there's about 124 licensed banks, and the residents are around 200,000. So you can imagine it's about 1,400 people per bank, and it's not Swiss money in those banks. It's foreigners. And what happens is, is that they attract a lot of money into these institutions for discretion and investing and so forth. So you have a culture there that has been ingrained in society about managing people's money in an offshore environment protected by Swiss bank secrecy. And the point of Swiss bank secrecy? Is not to divulge information on clients to any third party that has no right to that information under Swiss law. And who has a right to that information under Swiss law? Well, only the banker and the bank itself. So nobody besides the bank and the bank itself? That's correct. And the reason that this has become an institution and why this is such an important pillar of Switzerland is what? Various aspects. The first is, is that it's a large part of their economy. Swiss private banking employs thousands of people, generates millions and billions of dollars in revenue for the country. On top of that, you have wealthy clients who come to Switzerland who possibly spend some of that money in the nice hotels in Switzerland, in the nice restaurants in Switzerland, in the nice watch shops in Switzerland. So the ripple effect is threefold. How unusual is it for a Swiss banker to come forward and say, this is how it works? It's never happened before in history. I'm the first one.